we look for type one, type two, and type three civilizations. A type one civilization has the power of an entire planet. They control the weather. They mine the oceans. They control volcanoes. They control earthquakes. Buck Rogers, Flash Gordon, would be an example of a type one civilization, a planetary civilization in space. Live, this is one for the record. I'm Diana, and today is October 31st, 2012. Happy Halloween. And here is your news updates for today. I did find some interesting things on weather, so I'm going to share those with you. Please watch them all the way through if you can. And uh, just stuff I found that I thought was very, very interesting. All righty then. And we'll go into the E&E news tonight. Japan, Fukushima. Gunderson. Let's see here. Oh, no. That hasn't changed. Let's move on. We'll go into U.S. Canada. That's all they're talking about, I guess, today. Also, there's 50 days, 8 hours, and 10 minutes before December 21st, 2012. 11, 11, Greenwich Mean Time. Okay, today, officials, 35,000 gallons of crude oil removed from giant sinkhole gas bubbling up in center. Well, no, no oil shortage there, I guess, in the sinkhole. Just keep getting it from it. And prices should go down. Town next to New Jersey nuclear plant submerged in floodwaters. Mayor, it took a tremendous hit. Heads up with the nuclear plant out there. Press release. Floor is rising in salt cabin below giant sinkhole over 50 feet since last September. Oh, some kind of pressure building up, I believe. Incredible devastation seen near New Jersey nuclear plant in new aerial footage from Air Force. ABC. Ten miles from New Jersey nuke plant, we can hear gas lines hissing. Fire department says one spark and town could blow. Floodwaters receding at New Jersey's Oyster Creek nuclear plant alerts ends. Cause of power loss being investigated. Also today, these are all earlier, one before the other. Officials gas main explosion in New Jersey town suspected flames shooting up from sand. Huge fire 15 miles from nuclear plant. Crews unable to access area. Special edition. Exactly what happened at Fukushima is going on at New Jersey nuclear plant, except now reactor is in refueling. Gunderson. Okay, that's it. And uh, let me see if I can see something on the E&E news. I mean, the, that was the E&E news. Uh, extinction protocol. Hmm. Let's check that out. See if anything else is going on real quick. We are on um, Wednesday hump day. Halloween. Cyclone Nilam to make landfall near Mamapuriam. Okay. Also... West Virginia crippled by massive snowstorm. Sandy leaves trail of destruction and death along. U.S. East Coast, New York paralyzed, 50 dead. Trojones fracture zone volcano north of Iceland. Seismic swarm continues with no end in sight. Alrighty then. Not good news. Well, please stay tuned for the very interesting footage that I've gotten off of YouTube. It's all from YouTube. Now, three days down, 
two to go before the weekend. Remember, tomorrow is the first. Rent is due. A reminder to you guys, Thursday is the first and the rent is due. Take care now, and I'll see you on the flip side. Please, please, still be prepared for anything. Water, food, gasoline in your cars, all gassed up, ready to go. Uh, grab and go bag, important papers, pet food. Uh, just be ready for anything and take care. But weather manipulation when we get back, look it up for yourself. All major countries can control the weather. Is this being controlled by heart? We are go. Our mission, defend liberty, resist the globalists, restore the republic. Freedom and justice worldwide, 1776. Worldwide. I'm Alex Jones, your host. It is Friday, the 26th day of October. 2012, and I've got the crew printing off all these mainstream news articles. I've got Watson doing a report on weather manipulation, and uh, will uh, this hurricane delay the election? And I'm here to tell you, they're calling it the worst storm in 100 years, three weather systems, a hurricane, a blue norther, and a Pacific cold front full of water, all hitting at the same time all hitting at the same time over the most populous area of the United States, from D.C. right through Maryland, Pennsylvania, right up into New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, in the T-bone zone. And, and I've seen the tracks from dozens of universities, National Weather Service. We had those up on screen earlier for radio listeners if they want to go to prisonplanet.tv and see the feed, but anybody can look it up. It's all over the news. Almost every one of them has the hurricane smashing right into the middle of the major Atlantic coast of the United States. This is extremely serious. It's set to start hitting the 30th, Tuesday, right in to the 31st, Wednesday. It is set to hit. And then you will see power. They're debating whether you're going to have power out in three to five states, maybe more. They're talking about hundreds of thousands out of power per state. Just pull this up. Authorities brace for power outages across, uh, you know, eastern seaboard. Can you imagine this while it goes up the coast, the 30th, 31st, and the 1st? That's four days, five days before the election. And you know sometimes it takes them a week to two weeks to get all the power back on. You know they're going to try to delay the election if it knocks out the power to large cities. I mean, wow. And all the preparation. Remember October, late October, early November. Get ready. The police have been told, get ready for troops on the streets. Why are the troops running checkpoints? Well, it's for late October, early November. East Coast, East Coast, East Coast, false flag, East Coast, Doug Hagman, look for false flag, East Coast. You're like, well, what's the false flag? Ladies and gentlemen, just type in Russia can control the weather, China controls the weather, U.S. controls the weather. Just type it into a search engine. Hundreds of mainstream news articles, Wired Magazine, Reuters, AP, Ben Livingston, Father of Weather Weapons, Fox News, Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com. By 67, they certified that the U.S. government could create hurricanes, kill hurricanes, steer hurricanes, weaken them, or make them stronger. And the Russians, the Russian government, you can hire the Russian government to guarantee you're going to have a clear sky for your parade. You can hire the Chinese government. You can type into the search engine, Dubai to make the desert green. That was like five years ago. They've now done it with giant harp antennas, just like our government has in Alaska, and they can do whatever they want. Their neighbors, last time I checked, are suing them. Other countries are saying they're taking their moisture that would, that would come across and fall on their country. But, uh, just try it. Dubai to make the desert green with weather manipulation from like five years ago. The reason I like it is it shows official government graphics of the big antenna towers. And it, it, it really shows, because it's not just cloud seeding. This isn't your granddaddies. That's how long weather manipulation has been going on. 
Well, actually, about 150 years ago, they started in England with rockets. And in Pennsylvania and the U.S. of all places, in the 1860s, 1870s, they were able to you know, start getting the, 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 that if they shot certain salts or certain things into the clouds, they could make it rain. Uh, but I mean, it's, it's been going on since the days of your grandpa certified that this is happening. Here, check it out. I'll type in Dubai. Dubai to make desert green. And I'm typing this in here, folks. I'm obsessed on getting this uh, getting this article. Weather modification. Modification. And we will uh, we will dig that up. As soon as I get to break, I'll be able to find it. Uh, there it is. Uh, Abu Dhabi scientists create desert rainstorm. So there's another one. And what report is that out of? That's out of a. That's the Huffington Post. Go down and click on the Arabian Business News, guys. Guys, yeah, Abu Dhabi's doing it too, but so's Dubai. The reason I want the Daily Mail is they show the actual antenna farms, and then they have government statements. That was the best article ever. It doesn't matter. The point is, it's there for you. I started obsessing over a particular article. Uh, here are some of the, because uh, you know, the national media will say, oh, Alex Jones is saying that the hurricanes, Obama did it. Hey, if they certify the government can control hurricanes and create them in 1967, and I've had the father weather weapons on, first person to interview him, since then he's been all over national TV. I'm no rocket scientist. I just see that it's been declassified. It's already in the news, and there's his name. I call and get him on. U.S. government routinely conducts experiments on weather modification. And uh, this is uh, University of Texas Newswire, Daily Texan. Okay, there you go. Control Dubai's weather with Google Weather. Uh, London Telegraph, Dubai's designer weather. Since 2001, they have been manipulating and controlling the weather, making the desert turn green. USA Today, rain out. China aims to control Olympics weather. USA Today, and they were able to. That's BBC. Uh, that's USA Today. Here's BBC. Russian appeal of weather control shows the jets doing it. China leads weather control race. Wired Magazine. Russian scholar warns of secret U.S. climate change weapon. Radio Free Europe. I mean, here's science.com, how stuff works. So let's get it straight. Weather control is real, not manipulation control. They can control, especially if they've already got storms. They can send in aircraft. With, they've got computer models of how to seed, where to do it, what cell to target to steer it. Kind of like you herd cows. So that's how they can steer them. They can control them. They can strengthen them. They can weaken them. They can kill them. They can create them. That's Livingston's quotes. They can make them. They can kill them. They can steer them. They can strengthen them. They can weaken them. Ten aircraft, he could do this in the 60s. He already proven it in the 50s, but the government certified it, certified that they went off the East Coast and did it. That's been declassified. But back then, they went and actually had hurricanes coming into the East Coast. They would steer them out to sea. So let's get this straight. They could steer this baby out to sea. In fact, that's a, that's a report right there. Uh, by the way, who's obsessed with this? Bill Gates is investing billions in weather control. Guys, type in Bill Gates geoengineering, Bill Gates weather control. Just show them a couple hundred mainstream articles. A fighter. I've heard things that'll blow your mind. And now I think it's time you get the whole story. Now, the top secret government project that can destroy the world. One of the most dangerous projects the United States government has ever attempted. When aimed at the sky, it can change the weather. With a billion watts, you can easily move a cloud wherever you want it to move it using carbon. When aimed at the ground, it can set off earthquakes and tsunamis. My father's health was at this type of technology, doing more good and not doing any harm. And they're saying now we have a weapon. When pointed at you, it can literally blow your mind. This is the death ray. 
Jesse Ventura and his team head north to Alaska. Take a wild ride to the Arctic tundra. We're out here in the wilderlands of Alaska and confront the ultimate conspiracy weapon. This is more than classic. This part the real life doomsday machine. I'm Jesse Ventura, and this is Conspiracy Theory. Jesse Ventura is at the gates to what could be the most dangerous weapon the world has ever seen. And they won't let him in. Um, so you're telling me if I got rid of the cameras, you'd take me inside? I'm saying there's no chance that would happen. Weeks of investigation have led the governor and his team to remote Alaska, to this place where the U.S. military is blasting the skies with millions of watts of energy. Uh, Michael, tell us, so this is an intro to the next topic by Freeman. What's happening down there? What happened? I, we have the link posted up with a YouTube clip, and I looked at it and said, man, this looks like... Uh, a storm right out of the Bible. I mean, it's, it's mind blowing. Some of the hail were golf ball size, but there are some apparently as big as a baseball uh, or even larger. And then yeah, giant, uh, giant storms of rain, supercells that are very reminiscent to the times where you have a deluge drop, you know, <laughs> you know, Noah type flooding, uh, unbelievable. So what, what, what happened? Good morning, Dr. Bill. Um, this was in Melbourne recently in the past week. Uh, there was flash flooding in the CBD, which was just amazing when I saw the footage on uh, the news. And it's the biggest floods they've had in over 100 years. And yet in some parts, the, uh, the hail was the size of tennis balls. And um, there were car yards that were just totally destroyed and millions of dollars damage done. And uh, when you look at the footage on the YouTube uh, um, video that you posted, you can see within minutes the streets in the city of Melbourne, which is a major Australian city, literally turn into a river. And it's just unbelievable uh, that we're seeing this kind of thing happening in major cities in Australia. Now, uh, to explain that, and this includes information that's classified, here's how they did it um, when they want to control the weather. And this weather can be spontaneous because we're moving into the what's called a photon belt of the galaxy, which is a debris belt, it's a belt where there are cosmic particles. Uh, and uh, those particles actually, actually as a, as a nuclei, micronuclei, to actually start formation of rain. Um, so what we're having is strange activity of the jet stream because the magnetic field is fluxing and changing significantly. And the jet stream itself is an ion field up in the upper troposphere. So whether it happened naturally or it's manipulated, when it's manipulated, they create like a pinwheel through the plasma interferometry that pulls the storm cells toward a central point. They're curved little like a pinwheel that you would hold up in the wind. And it pulls those storm cells toward a central point. Once they start to gather, you can then move that pinwheel around like a, with a joystick by moving that plasma interferometry field. The evidence is from my sources, which and some of them are classified, is that there was a battle between a uh, one rogue division of the uh, these letter agencies pushing this right over New Orleans, and then another group of individuals that were pushing it away, which is why it had anomalous uh, tracking behavior. Uh, when you have supercells like this develop over large population areas, at the same time Central Australia is suffering the worst drought in 100 years, wiping out 93 percent of the uh, gray of the grassy crops like uh, grains like wheat. You've got something really evil afoot here, and uh, there's very strong evidence that besides the earth changes that are natural, this is being tweaked by globals that intend on really terrorizing the population using weather as a weapon. Uh, Absolutely. And, and I think that this is uh, something, that's why they have a department in, in the Congress for weather modification, and then we have apologists trying to tell us that it's a good idea to put nanoparticles, thorium, when one in 50 thorium atoms is radioisotope, Nanoparticle barium is 10,000 times more neurotoxic than lead, and uh, and uh, <clears throat> and uh, aluminum, aluminum nanoparticles, which of course cross the blood-brain barrier and cause oxidative stress and peroxynatriate radicals that cause death in neurons. Uh, you know this is not funny. This is pretty serious stuff, and we have globalists that think it's quite funny to 
use the iris for imaging using torsional vortex imaging or creating plasma fields that they can create a nuclear type level in terms of devastation plasma explosion up to and exceeding 100 megatons so people think that this is all, all airy fairy and we're dreaming out here you're wrong and uh, the weather has been is totally in the control they've literally turned the planet into a weapon of mass destruction Mm, people in Australia are still got their heads buried in the sand, though. Well, they may, they may, have, it, <clears throat> they may have it buried in a different anatomical part. <laughs> if you know yeah, what I mean. Sleeping, that's for sure. <clears throat> well, actually, they have to be intellectual contortionists not to look at this and ask questions of if someone, and it may not even be. We look for type 1, type 2, and type 3 civilizations. A type 1 civilization has the power of an entire planet. They control the weather. They mine the oceans. They control volcanoes. They control earthquakes. Buck Rogers, Flash Gordon, would be an example of a type one civilization, a planetary civilization in space.